Jigglypuff Puff. Uh, That's true, don't fact check me. <laughs> all right. All right. So, so like any match, oh, well, any match I was gonna say, they are gonna start off like just going by going in neutral and playing Fuzzies, but no, Jigglypuff just goes in for the grab and pretty much succeeds. I am a little concerned on the fact that Jiggly didn't strike Battlefield because Mario is very good on Triplats. He that can just take you all true. the way to the top. That is very true, and I'm usually of a mind to ban Battlefield in just about every situation, especially when there's a Mario. But yeah. then again, Jigglypuff can also possibly benefit. I'd I say. actually have almost no knowledge on Jigglypuff, except for actually, that down sure. air rest is uh, disgusting, and apparently F Smash will kill Mario with that percent oh, yeah. ledge. F Smash is pretty strong. And then just stall out iframes. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. The, I do feel that if uh, Jigglypuff can keep Mario off stage, he's just kind of going to die. His recovery is not the greatest. And Jigglypuff's recovery, as we all know, is pretty godlike. Five, five jumps and uh, an air dodge, because her up doesn't do anything. Ooh. Well. Okay, anti edge guarded with a spike. That's going to even out this game here. Mario's forward aerial, otherwise known as the funny aerial. The funny aerial. Just put anything with Jake in this game is funny. And there's so many funny things in this game. So many funny things. Yeah, this is why uh, this like is why Mario we don't like triplats. That's also funny because it hits behind him. It's like Ganon F smash. <laughs> yeah, actually. just with his head. Mario Speaking F smash. Which, he is the puff is airborne. Yeah, there's. I'm not really sure why he would want to try to go with weather. I guess maybe to try to stall it, stall it a little bit. It puts the. Spots a it puts Cheney in a uh, more difficult position to recover, I guess, but not I really because Puff. Puff. The Hawk is doing a really good job of keeping Puff in disadvantage for the most part, which Mario should be accustomed to on these stages. Back throw. Yeah. Jigglypuff is a light, light boy. Very light. Let's see if he can take it back. He has the potential. It's, he does. It's 120%. Almost. That angle was gross. Oh. Okay. He was dead. He was dead. There so was no for the, need for that. Going for the disrespect there. So once again, we're at a pretty even game, 29% to 11. So still pretty much anyone's game. But Jigglypuff is starting to get to pretty dangerous and close to kill percent here. Jigglypuff at, in this game can die from a lot of things on ledge. Mario F Smash should probably kill just before 100. Probably. And we're, or we a may forward even air. get to see that in a few seconds here. Assuming Jigglypuff does not uh, keep him at bay. Also, rocking the, like the best it. skins on both of these characters. This is the best Jigglypuff and the best Mario. And, okay. Set up for an edge guard, but uh, wasn't able to capitalize. All right, going for the first sailor rush back air there. If I don't see a rest, I'm going to be upset. Oh, back throw, is that throw. going to be it? Oh. Yes. Just barely, but it does it. Just barely. Jigglypuff takes game one. being this light. That was a pretty close game. That I was a close say. game. Uh, so I doubt we're going to see anyone switch characters. But I doubt that as well. It was pretty close. Jigglypuff's counterpick. I feel like uh, Chaney's going to be able to take game two. Right. All he has to do is try to probably, I guess, remove triplats. Get, ri get rid of Mario, one of Mario's biggest advantages. Then exactly. Can, hey, can, Jiggly. Okay, uh, we're going back to Battlefield. <laughs> this so. is... A very good stage for Mario. I think his second best after Yoshi's. Oh. Oh! Okay, so both people are switching. This is... This is... Strange. Yeah. I so mean, Zero Suit and Snake, also a good stage for Snake. I don't know much about Zero Suit. It might be good for Zero Suit. Cheney sure. started the same way. Drop down, grab down through. I mean, looks like it's going pretty well for uh, Cheney so far. He's getting... Trying to keep a uh, snake trapped on the on the, on the platforms there. Snake is going to be able to get out of those combos because frame one grenade though, gonna be able to stop a lot of things. Like frame one up up tilt. I, I know it's not frame one, yeah. but it feels like it is. That move is active for eight frames and five of those eight frames sweet spot. It's that's it's it's more than half the move. It's awful. Yeah, and that's snake's ledge trapping. Speaking of funny moves, that's one of them. Snake's ledge trapping. Oh, Snake's up, uh, up tilt also hits behind him, I believe. Slightly. His up tilt? It might. I don't know. Uh, Gonna take I'm that out sure with back maybe. air. The hitbox Zero is back so air, Real good. 
Alright, so Cheney takes the first stock, so it's looking kind of similar to. Uh, She's uh, gonna game crouch one. below that uh, laser. Oh, and then okay. C4? Or yeah. was that a grenade? Yeah, that, that was C4. That was C4, yeah. That was C4 for sure. For most of that first stock, Cheney was doing a really, uh, really good job of not letting Snake set that up. Pretty much, but. Sure enough, go high. maybe he gives him, gives him an inch to do so. Yeah. Uh, Snake is a big give an inch, take a mile character. Because if he can just has time to set up one C4, he will throw you into it, grenade you into it, somehow get you there, yeah, and probably you kill you. to give him any opportunity to set up anything. Chaney doing a great job of that, keeping him off ahead basically an entire stug. It's ambitious forward air from Snake. And of course, Cypher, like... Uh, Sniper's anti-edge guarding measures uh, save the day again. Yeah. Sniper is strange to edge guard because if you just hit the Sniper, Snake doesn't get it back. That's true, but it's also a percentage based too. I think it's like what, twelve percent? Uh, it's something. I just side it's, it's something. Uh, Zero Suit does have her uh, get out of jail free card though with Down B, so uh, she's been using that a lot to flip over uh, these explosions. That's true. Down B can be very difficult to deal with because it really adds a. Uh, a dimension of unpredictability to where Zero Suit's actually gonna go next. And if you're a character who can't really like deal with that all that well, it, it, it can make things pretty tricky. And it can make things tricky for zoners like Snake too, because if you can use that to go around your projectiles, then it's like, he's kind of in your grill then. <coughs> yeah. If you can't be able to kind of figure out where it lands or stop it on startup, you're just gonna get jumped around. Taking him out of Cypher, actually. Yeah. 74% on it's his not, last it's stock. It's not that advantageous if it's not, like, on stage, but once again, uh, Lost track C4 of the C4. The stock, Snake was able to just capitalize, cap, capitalize on that mistake. Yeah. Which is the second time he's done so, and it's a pretty great effect, and it's even up this game, even though he has quite a hill to climb, and if he's going to take it back. 90% difference between them on their last stock. Yeah, I'm not sure about his prospects, but you know, crazier things have happened. It is Smash after all. Never count anybody out. This is still game two, so if Cheney wins, uh, we're gonna see a game three. Yeah. And we'll see if they're gonna keep Switch characters, characters here, again, or? yeah. There it is, is that gonna kill? I think uh, it should, yep, yeah. It, yep, it does. I had some doubts because I know Snake's pretty heavy, but up B can up is Zero suit up B at ledge, 135, that'll probably kill. Especially by ledge. Mm -hmm. I think that was by ledge, so. So, ultimately, I'm not surprised. All right, Are, uh, my guess, about Smashville, okay. Uh, s if this is a counter pick from Snake, he might stay Snake. Yeah. He might, like, if he picks like a flat stage, that might be best, because, yeah. have, because you have a platform, so you're, you're more easily able to like, just walk around his projectiles. Smashville's also smaller, so the explosions are going to be able to hit uh, just a bigger percentage of the stage. Zero Suit is going to have a harder time uh, flip kicking over everything. Yeah, so that's the uh, that's one of the differences between Smashville and Battlefield is that well, I mean it's pretty evident. You know, you don't have as many platforms to play around. But yeah. Battle, but but uh. Uh, forgot the name of the stage for a second. Uh, Smashville, Smashville. Is, is very similar, though, in the respect that the platform can still be a bane to zoners because if you walk, because you can just essentially just walk over them. I do think that Snake uh, can capitalize on that because a C4 there just adds extra height. It'll kill earlier. That's true. Actually, and I'm not sure, where he put her right sure there. I'm not sure C4 can reach below the platform here on Battle. Uh, I'm not sure. Smashville. I don't know either. I'm pretty sure it can on some stages, yeah. but I'm not sure about this Here one. we see Nikita, and up smash. Oh, yeah. Snake's ledge trapping, notoriously yeah, difficult to get around. Yeah, and we haven't seen Nikita all that much. In That's the, true. Match, Cheney we? hasn't been off stage a lot, especially last game. Uh, they were just kind of all over the snake. Yeah, Cheney has been Oh! Oh, that is unfortunate. Very unfortunate SD that's sadly going to even up this Swing game this once game again. In the Hawks favor. Gonna completely erase whatever lead Cheney had. But he can get it back. It's just yeah, it's gonna be tricky because it's still pretty even. The difference in percentage is only about three right now. But Snake is crouch can low profile so many moves. They can actually low profile Ganon's up smash. Really now? Yeah. On, on the hitbox behind Ganon, it won't hit. Okay, that is 
fruities. That's pretty funny, actually. Yeah. The animation shows it hitting the ground too, so it's weird. The hitboxes in this game do not match the an uh, they animation don't. a lot. A lot of them are bigger than others. Some of them make no sense. Roy's sword. Regards to, like, some of them are smaller than they appear to be. It's kind of weird. Chaney's having a lot more trouble uh, dodging all these explosions on this stage. Yeah, it's possible he's just playing a little bit more cautiously, especially after that SD. Mm -hmm. That he doesn't that he doesn't want to like get in like like too hastily, but the problem with doing that is that it's giving him an opportunity playing to Playing safe against out. Snake is very hard because you're just gonna take damage constantly with all those explosions. Alright. So now we are one stock even. Looking for a roll read from the snake. Nikita? Gonna drop it, not follow a zero suit down. Grenades or These really putting a damper really on his weak. Right here. Yeah. They're, so they're just they're him up high. in the air. No, he has to watch out for that C4. It was just sitting there and it wasn't blinking. I still C4 in this game is so hard to see. It is, especially on dark stages. Especially on FD2 because it blinks red. Yeah, especially that. To quote sad me, snake players are degenerates. Snake players for are degenerates. For that reason alone. And oh, there the it is. tilt will absolutely take that. And Hawker takes the set. All right, now it is actually my turn to have to leave. Oh, so, I see. so is there someone to fill in? 